dive into a 24-hour Minecraft training challenge where my friend transforms into a pro. Get ready for surprises, turning into smart moves, and witness an amazing journey unfold. It's not just gaming. It's an adventure for everyone. Stick around. The excitement turns into an unforgettable experience until the very end. The first thing we worked on was this PvP, but like every Minecraft player, you can't have good PvP without good aim. So we worked on his sensitivity until he found the perfect sensitivity. What I want you to do is I'm going to run around you. I want you to hit me. Go. Nice. 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 Basically, you'd find your normal sensitivity and hit someone who keeps running around you. Then you'd go up by five and do it again. And then you'd go down by five from your original sensitivity. And then you'd see which one feels better. And I'll show you how he did that. Hold up, let me... My camera sensitivity? Uh, yeah, your camera sensitivity, what's that at? 51. 51? Alright, change it to 56. Better, or does that feel a lot better, or a lot worse? Alright. So, with his original sensitivity at 51, and we raised it by 5 for 56, and we went under to 46, he found 56 to just be better. So, we actually went up 5 to 61, and he said that was completely worse. So, we went to the middle, which is 58. He said that was pretty good. And then we tried 59. And he said it's way better. Then we went up one more to try and find his perfect sensitivity. And he said 60 was worse. So his new sensitivity is now 59. Now before I learn teach you how to combo, I'm going to teach you how to get out of a combo. Arguably the next most important thing of PvP is comboing. But why teach how to get out of comboing? Well, there's a simple answer to that. It all started... When I realized comboing actually isn't the second most important thing. How to get out of a combo is essential because if you don't know how to get out of a combo, you could be comboed yourself. So one way to do it is with your either your snowballs, you just throw them at me. You just go boom, boom, boom. When I hit and run away. The other thing you could do is if you have a knockback weapon, you could do it. So here, hit me with your knockback weapon. Another way is literally just running away. So when I combo you, just turn around and get out of there. All right. See? Now I would teach him how to combo, but he was actually pretty good at it first try. How? With everything almost going perfectly well, I was starting to wonder something bad would happen very soon. And I was correct. See, whenever he started comboing, he would always sprint jump, meaning he would go straight through the other person. And we had to go to bed. And when we woke up, we only had two hours left. Then we decided to play Bridges for an hour to make sure he wouldn't fall in the void because the three mini games that we will be doing in the 2v1 are Sky Wars, Bed Wars, and just normal PvP, which means we only had one hour remaining. Then I taught him on his speed bridge, and he learned that really fast too. If you guys want to know how to do it, look it up after this video. I taught him how to clutch and speed bridge for the upcoming challenges ahead and the mini games. But there was one problem. Why was I wasting all my time teaching him this? Well, there's one simple answer. He didn't know any of the game modes we were playing, who his teammate was, because it would just spoil everything and he would know what to do. So anyway, scared to death that he was going to lose, we finally started. The first thing we started with was Sky Wars, and here's how the game went. You all think you got you all think you have what it takes to win? No. No. That wasn't me. That was a paid actor. Anyway, it still gave them the point. Okay, none of you have seen... And then the second game, my paid actor just jumped, and he got comboed with the void by Galaxy Gamer. I don't know why he jumped, but they, the score is now 2-0. No, you guys did And they won Sky Wars, which means we only had Bed Wars and PvP left. And because my definitely 100% real paid actor is doing so bad, 
and it wasn't me, I just took over, and I actually won Bed Wars 2-0, because that's what I'm best at. Anyway, I actually, then we did PvP. And yes, as you guys saw, I got demolished because I didn't pearl fast enough and I got too cocky. But that's only the first game, putting them at a 1-0 lead, and that means I had to win the next two games by myself. Anyway, this was game number two. So you'll have... And David pearled and died. And David died, and now I need to kill Vivian. David, come get your stuff. Me and Vivian will walk around it. Dude, you have to run. I don't know, you have to run toward us. Vivian ended up pearled away. David, go to the anvil. Go to the anvil, stand on top of it, and then, yeah, just look around. See if you can find your stuff. Your stuff is gonna despawn. And with that, I had taken the point. It was now tied 1-1, and this last game was the game to determine it all. You guys ready? For the final point, it is a one, we are tied. This is for the final point. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Going straight in. Does any of you guys see me? And just like that, Vivian was out. Now all I had to do was beat Galaxy Gamer. What? Me versus David. Put your totem on. If I if I were you, I'd put your totem on. Put your totem on. Put your totem in your off slot. You just dropped your shit. Put another totem on. She can't help you. You have to put another totem on. Put another totem on. And just like that, he popped my totem. I might lose. This might be good for Galaxy Gamer. But it turned around very quickly. And with that sound playing in my ears, I was pretty sure I popped his toad up. Yes, I know. You, I would eat a gapple if I were you. Now you don't have any more totems. Oh, you do. I have two more. How are you going to deal with that? And just like that, he popped my totem. I might lose. With that 
sound playing in my ears, I was pretty sure I popped his. Wait, you still have a totem. No, I ran out of arrows. I would put on, I would put on, a, oh, you don't have any more totems. Huh? You're lucky I jumped up. All right, no more playing, David. I had won, but my goal was not to win. My goal was to train Galaxy Gamer to win his 2v1, and he lost. How did I train him so well? How could I say I trained him well? Well, we only had 24 hours. We had a week, or maybe even more, he might be able to beat me. Maybe if we can get 100 likes on the video. No, I'm just kidding. 14 likes on the video, I will make you another one.